Biden is responsible for the decline of the West. What we are seeing right now is a, I can't say the word, is a wuss. Mm, is a wuss. All right, very nice, very nice. Okay, well, uh, why is Biden a wuss? Is it because he's not escalating the war by implementing a no fly zone? Is that why he's considered a wuss or is there something more to it? Uh, well, she then goes on to say, that Trump wasn't a wuss, that Trump was really this strong man leader that we needed to hold the world's authoritarians and dictators accountable. Let's watch. How do you know that Putin wasn't playing Trump? How do you know? When, oh, stop, when you see he that wasn't he was, playing Trump. When, when Trump. He didn't Trump invade was, was Trump was I, I love Trump, I love it's Trump not about loving I, Trump, it, it's about the fact that Trump had everybody against the wall. How do you know and that don't Putin think it was didn't think different. Trump would give him I Ukraine anyway? I don't give anyway. a damn what Putin thinks, I only care what Putin did and he was a a wuss when Trump was president, and that's the end of it. Okay, so uh, Janine Pirro, very triggered by what Geraldo Rivera said there, um, and I love Geraldo Rivera. Say like, I love Trump. I love Trump. I just I love Trump. I love Trump. Okay, just relax, buddy. It's gonna be okay. No, but her statement: Trump had everyone up against the wall. What are you talking about? He bragged about falling in love with Kim Jong Un. He bragged about sending letters to him exchanging letters like they're pen pals. He cleared the way for Turkish troops to go into Syria and slaughter the Kurds who were assisting us in rooting out ISIS. And by the way, I mean, he can't, he can't help himself. He keeps saying positive things about Putin even after this invasion. Here's a headline from Newsweek, recent headline. Trump says, a lot of love behind Putin wanting to make his country larger. That's an actual headline from Newsweek. And I thought, look, maybe that's hyperbole. He didn't say that. There's no way he said that. I mean, at this point, as we're watching all this footage of hospitals being bombed, as we, you know, watch all of these Ukrainian refugees like flee the country, more than two million at this point. As we see the destruction of one city after the next, there's no way he said that. But I, he did. He did say that. I gave you examples of how he kowtows to all sorts of authoritarians across the globe. I mean, he loved Rodrigo Duterte from the Philippines, Narendra Modi in India. The list goes on and on. But look, let's focus specifically on his relationship with Vladimir Putin. He was transparent about how he loved being Putin's bitch. I'm not even kidding, just watch. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers, we got a lot of killers. Why you think our country's so innocent? Just before Trump's inauguration, the president said he was open to lifting Russian sanctions. He goes a step further proposing a cyber unit with Russia, the country that had just attacked the US. And I quote, an impenetrable cybersecurity unit so that election hacking and many other negative things will be guarded. I was in Russia, I was in Moscow recently, and I spoke indirectly and directly with President Putin, who could not have been nicer. After Putin kicked out US diplomats to retaliate against sanctions, the president thanked him. I wanna thank him because we're trying to cut down on payroll. I'm very thankful that he let go of a large number of people. We'll save a lot of money. Putin of Russia, 100%. Joe has lost it. In his best day, he wasn't a smart man. Everybody knows that. Would you now, with the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016? And would you warn him to never do it again? My people came to me, Dan Coates came to me and some others. They said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be. Listen, I don't know why Putin didn't invade Ukraine when Trump was in charge. I'm pretty happy that he didn't make that decision when Trump had the power to enable him, embolden him and provide cover for him. But remember when Mohammed bin Salman, the Saudi crown prince ordered the slaughter, the dismemberment of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi. When that assassination was carried out, what was Donald Trump's first reaction or response to it? It was to provide cover, to make excuses, to deny that MBS was behind that assassination plot. Donald Trump is the definition of a weak, pathetic 
wuss. And for Janine Pirro or anyone, I don't care what their political affiliation is, for anyone to argue that that man who complained about alleged bone spurs to avoid the Vietnam draft, to argue that that guy is a strong guy, not buying it.